Hello guys, uh, I would like to say thank you for buying my script AD Universal FK and IK Match Tools from my camera store and in here I'm gonna show you how to run the script and how to use it alright so in this demo I'm gonna use uh, Elsa Rig uh, which is I've been downloading from animprops.com uh, here uh, the rigger they use uh, advanced skeleton auto rig so if you want to try it also you can use this from yeah from the advanced skeleton it's pretty good though so cool and first of all before we set up and define all the things we need to reload it uh, self first okay this is only one time you don't need to reload it every time you run the Maya so you can go to load itself and then I drop it my script in, in here and oh yeah before you run it better you read the notes here you can find out uh, we just uh, uh, the, the version of my script it will be like updating yeah once there is I found something new and then I will update it okay this is the script has two things one is for setup defining the your objects from your rig and the second one is matching I mean like we run the match from I get to FK and vice versa. So uh, this script is working properly in any version of Maya. Now uh, we run a script. We install the script into our Maya. First thing, uh, we just copy it into our uh, Maya folder. In my case, I use my Maya 2019. So I drop it in the script folder here. Paste. Okay. And another one is icons. Okay. We copy it and we drop it into icons. We just drop here. Okay, next is so we load the self. Uh, yeah, we just yeah drop. We just run. Uh, we just load the self and it's ready to go. Now we ready to set and run the script. First thing we run the setup first. Okay, in here. Uh, I'm gonna use the left arm, so I choose the arm setup instead. And here, upper joint, middle joint, and lower line, limb joint. We have to look for the joint. This is the shoulder as upper limb joint. In this case, I mean, in Advanced Skeleton 5, they use the uh, upper limb defined shoulder, left shoulder here. Okay. And oh, yeah, well, I just forgot this one. Yeah, we defined it. FK and IK controller. We use uh, this is FK, IK. We define this object, and the middle is elbow left, lower is wrist left, and FK. This one is upper FK, and this is middle FK, and this is lower limb FK. Now we're gonna use the define the IK part because the advanced skeleton doesn't I mean like this character doesn't has uh, any uh, doesn't has a controller of upper limb IK so we just switch off on it and we define the ball vector in here also the wrist lower limb yeah it's uh, IK arm left if you make a mistake you can clear all this object in this group box with this button and then we continue with the additional setup the additional setup we started from matching position first in this case we uh, the position is left so we right uh, we choose left side and this is the main axis means the joint axis from the parent to its child so in this case the aiming from parents to child is x okay it, it, it doesn't matter whether it's a positive or negative axis so we just define it and then we define the controller attribute name in here in this case like uh, this name is fkik then we have to make it right name because if we make a, a wrong input the script will be error okay so the default of fk is 0 and default of ik is 10 next two is snapping uh, in this case in this character uh, this snapping name is lock okay with 
this pull vector controller. Sometimes the rigger drop it this lock into with the, this voice uh, controller. Yeah, it uh, depends on the, the, the rigger where the attribute for the snapping or lock the elbow. Uh, but in this case, yeah, in a pull vector controller, and we name it uh, attribute as it is. This value of is zero, okay, and when it's on, it's 10. I mean, this is not active and this active. Uh, we skip it because it doesn't has. Uh, it is for the leg and with the FK. Sometimes the rigor is unlock the translate and make it animator freely to move the translation of FK. But in some animators also, they use stretch part. They add the attribute instead of the translated. Sometimes they lock the translate and then they only uh, they create a attribute stretch. So if on that case. Uh, we just switch on in. I will show you later with the character that has a stretch attribute for the FK. So we continue with the uh, additional attribute set to default. So the additional attribute set to default means actually this is the attribute that we want to make it. The value of attribute is that what we want. Let's say if the default of the stretch is zero and then I want to make 10. like every i run the script and stretchy always is on all right so i make it default as 10 instead of zero here this is the default so actually the script it will be executed first before they executed the match fk and ik all right so they created as follow in here and then right after that they executed the match fk and ik so um in this case there's a uh, some attribute here we just add attribute a name in here Minus follow and I want to make it zero and this is uh, in this case if there is a FK and then we can uh, use a FK inst instead but because of this control is IK and then we use the IK so the stretch we I made it to 10 because I want to make it always stretch every time they match to IK and tip up Zero length length sorry zero zero also also if you add too much of this attribute and then you can delete it from the latest one fatness is zero I make it zero this two is zero also and volume I want to make it as zero because I don't want to uh, like a stretch here I don't want to volume maintained by IK okay I make a default as zero instead and so everything is okay everything is good now so we execute it run script it's done and after that, we just run the match FK and IK. Here we go. This is IK. We select this one. I mean this guy. And match to IK. This is we match to IK. All right. So the the elbow is locked. Actually, we can unlock. Yeah, whatever. You can do as you as you wish. If we didn't select the FK IK switch, and then it's gonna error here. Or if you wrong select, and then it's also error. Okay, you have to select the right controller. All right, uh, I'm gonna show you uh, with the leg part. All right, uh, we're gonna continue with the leg part. In this case, I'm gonna use uh, the right leg, and instead of I clean everything here and there, it's too much, and I just close it and reopen the script. So actually, it's similar like the arm setup, but there is uh, some different things because the leg has toe in here, ball and toe. So there is uh, some additional things for the leg, and then I'm go I will gonna show you. First thing, we select the FK. I can like right switch and we define on it. 
then we continue with the upper limb as hip right knee ankle and this one is toe then we select the, this is the ankle lower and this is the end limb ik control okay we define it and then next one is all vector because upper limb ik doesn't exist so we switch off and the next one is fkm okay we define the middle lower and end okay the next one is additional setup so uh, we choose the right set instead and the uh, aiming of the axis is x the naming of controller switcher is the iq plan default is zero for the fk and ik is 10 knee or snap is this controller with name block active is 10 and the active is zero on off yeah and the next one because if it is has a controller on emblem ik so it gonna switch off on it but if it is doesn't exist and then it's show and we have to define what is the controller name and some attribute here we will uh, explain it later with another character all right so in this case it doesn't has any attribute on the so they use the ball controller ik instead all right similar like the arm it also needs to define some additional attributes set to default we continue with the additional attribute to set to default actually this thing is exactly similar like the arm part before in this case i would like to define some attribute from the ik controller so there is a attribute need to make a default so in here i will define all the things custom attribute make it zero zero roll is zero roll is 25 no actually it doesn't need to order name of the attribute it, it, it doesn't rely on the order and it doesn't rely on the, the number of the attribute but you have to make exactly same name as on the attribute here all right so in order to to, to avoid the mistake so you better you change the channel names alone because if you make it nice and then you 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 cannot see what is actually the real name of the attribute if you see here long name is different with a nice name or short name all right better is the long name so make it precisely the name of attribute and then we continue with the lock stretchy some more Point. one also I make it stretchy as a 10 instead and fatness one is zero fatness two is zero and one more thing is volume I make it a zero instead so we run it all right now we can use the match fk and ik then h to fk all right cool oh, this controller is hide to ik cool then make a stretch All right, cool. And the left and right is similar, like right side. And then if you want to set up the left, is similar, like the right side. But the different thing is only the this match position on the deck. Otherwise, it's same thing. So we're referencing the file. All right. I forgot to make it default, All right? But but it's okay. So um, in these tools, actually, we don't need to define any namespace of the character. Normally, when you work with the character, you need to define this namespace. But with these tools, you don't need to do that. All right. Also, with these tools, you don't need to define whether this is left or right. These match tools can read whether this is left or the right side. So one tools for all the part of the limb. 
So uh, I'm gonna show you. This is the on the left side that we we had defined. So this is match to AFK and also this is match to AFK. It's work well, right? This one also. It's working well. I think I already cover up any universal AFK and IQ tools here, and then I will continue with the quick tutorial with the other character, which has a slightly different setup. Uh, on rig leg and arm and if you have any question about this setup don't hesitate to contact me through the email below thanks for watching and good luck for your work bye